wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Graceman Adoloju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Salmon the UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact, for our discussion and meditation. We're looking at the Word of God from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 23 and verse number 23. The scripture says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the order undone. The message translation of that verse of scripture says, You are hopeless, you religion, scholars, and Pharisees, frauds you keep meticulous account books tithing on every nickel and dime you get but on the meat of god's law things like fairness and compassion and commitment the absolute basics you carelessly take it or leave it careful bookkeeping is commendable but the basics are required let's look this morning at the subject i have titled weightier matters by weightier matters, I mean the basic requirements of the kingdom of God. The message translation calls it basics that are required. Careful or meticulous bookkeeping is commendable, but the basics are required. My observation, however, is that in the body of Christ, we have majored on the minor and we have become minors at majors. We are concentrating on things that are not weighty, that are not the basics, and we have left the basics unattended to. And this is affecting the fabrics of our Christianity and making Christianity to look weaker and weaker in this age of moral decadence. I want us to take a look at some of these things that we should pay attention to. These basics are required, and they are much more important than others. If you go back to that verse of scripture that we have read, Jesus said to the Pharisees that, Woe to you, Pharisees, you hopeless religion scholars and Pharisees, you are frauds. He called them frauds. Why? Because Jesus said, They keep meticulous account books, they tithe on every nickel and dime that they got. But the meat of God's law, which are the basic requirements of Christianity, they were careless about. What are these meat? Number one is fairness, that is mercy, showing judgment, mercy, and faith. And that's fairness and compassion and faith, which is commitment. These are weightier things, and these are the things that God is demanding from us. Judgment, and by judgment, it means fairness. God wants you to be fear. Your Christianity should make you fear. You must be fear to people around you. You must be fear in your judgment. You must be fair in assessments of issues. You must be equitable. Equity is a very important requirement, a basic requirement of the kingdom. How is it that when things concern our personal interest, we become subjective in our thinking? We are no longer fair in our thinking. So we are not just and are failing on the issue of judgment. Don't forget, the weightier matters are the issues of judgment. It doesn't matter how brilliant the tongue you speak. If you are not fear to people, you are not fear to your neighbors, you are not fear to your colleagues, you are not fear, you are not a just person. The issue of judgment, you are subjective and you give to others what you won't accept from anybody. You are not a fear person. Your Christianity is suspect. Why? Because you have left the weightier matter of judgment, which is fearness. Are you fear? Can fairness be seen in what you do? Fairness is very important. That is judgment. Be just. Be equitable. Be fair. Use the same standard that you will use for yourself on others. Don't offer others what you will not accept. That is what fairness and judgment is all about. And it is a weighty issue of the law, a basic requirement of our Christianity. Be fair. The second basic issue of a Christianity is mercy, and that is compassion. 
There is the need for you to show compassion to people around you. Jesus Christ said, if you see your neighbor who is hungry, your brother is hungry, is destitute of his daily needs, and he has come to you for help, but all you can do is to pray for him and say, brother, be filled, and God bless you. It is well with you, and you are not meeting those basic needs in the life of this man. Then you are not a merciful person. And do not forget, the word of God says, if you shut your ears to the cry of the poor, you also will cry and you will not be heard. A weighty issue in Christianity is mercy. Being merciful. God wants us to be merciful and to show mercy to people. It is, the, it is important for you to show mercy to people around you. This is the expectation of God for us in a Christian world to show mercy or compassion to people. Be compassionate. Look at the people in need and try to meet their needs. Let God make you a blessing to people. Let someone give thanks to God because of you. It is a weighty issue of the law. God prefers this compassion than your offering, than your tithing, than your sacrifices. Whereas these are also commendable, but the issue of mercy, compassion to others, is very important to God. God is more concerned about the mercy and compassion you show to people than the sacrifices you are offering. May your sacrifice not be a sacrifice of fools. May your sacrifice to God be acceptable. And one way that your sacrifice to God will be acceptable is that you show mercy to people, you show compassion, you have compassion on people around you. This is a, a weighty matter or basic requirement of the law. The third weighty issue or matter of the law is that of faith. Faith is important. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. You cannot please God without faith. According to the message, translation simply means commitment. How committed are you to God? It is a very vital issue, a weighty issue, a basic requirement of a Christian work. Commitment to God. There are so many people today who are not committed to God. Their relationship and their worship is simply based on convenience. They are in church when it is convenient. They give to God when it is convenient. They help others when it is convenient. When it is not convenient, they don't come around God at all. They are God users, not God seekers. They are there to use God. And after using the dumb, they have no commitment at all to God. Commitment is faith or faith is commitment. How committed are you to God? Do you have faith in God? Faith in God is a weighty issue, a basic requirement of our Christian work. And so these are weighty issues. These are important issues, vital issues in our relationship and in our work with God. The issue of judgment, that is fairness, that is equity, and the issue of mercy, that is compassion, and the issue of faith, which is commitment. Faith is absolute trust and dependency on God. Be dependent on God. Trust in Him completely. Don't come to God on Sunday and then go and see one Babalawo on Friday. Don't pay a leap service on Sunday, worshipping God in the beauty of His holiness. Whereas on Monday or other days of the month of the week, you go to visit an herbalist. That is not showing commitment and Commitment is a weightier issue of the law. It has great weight. It is a basic requirement of our relationship with the Almighty God. The fear in your judgment, in your decisions, in your attitude and approach to others and to people. Be fear, be just, be equitable, and of course, show mercy and compassion to people. And our faith in God, that is, show commitment to the Almighty. Let us pray. I'd like you to lift up your voice and prayers this morning and say, Father, help me not to neglect the weightier matters of the law. Help me to be balanced in my work with you in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. My Father and my God, I pray that Lord, you will help me not to neglect the weightier matters of the law, to commit myself to the basic requirements of worshiping and serving you in the kingdom. I receive this grace in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray for the wisdom 
and the grace to be just, to be equitable, to be fear in life and in all that you do. A Father, I receive the grace to be fear, to be equitable, to be just in all my endeavors, in my decision making, in my attitude and approach to others, in all that I do. I receive this grace, I receive this strength in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name, I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray for the grace to be merciful. Father, I receive the grace to show mercy to people around me, to have compassion on people. I ask for that grace to be compassionate in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Pray for the grace to remain committed to God, to stand in faith with Him, and to receive the rewards of faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for that grace to be steadfast and be committed to you. Lord, that my faith in you may be strong and unwavering, that I may receive the blessings and the benefits of faith in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, in Jesus' precious name. I receive for you the grace not to neglect the weightier matters of the law, not to neglect judgment, not to neglect mercy, not to neglect faith or commitment in the name of Jesus. I pray that the hand of the Lord will be upon you and God himself will help you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Join us tomorrow for a glorious service at the Light Cathedral, Lighthouse International Christian Center. Time for the service is 8 a.m. It's a women convention and we are discussing the lasting dynasty. Let's be at the Light Cathedral and be greatly blessed tomorrow. You may wish to join the service on any of our social media platforms on Facebook at LICCNG1, on Twitter at LICCNG, and on YouTube at Lighthouse International Christian Center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on other social media platforms. My handle on all platforms is at Yemi Graceman. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program, I am Yemi Graceman Aduluju, wishing you a very glorious weekend, and the Lord bless you. Oh.